Hi, so we're going to create now a pre-asana pranayama practice. So we will start with cleansing breath and this is going to help us feel more alert and fresh and invigorated, ready for our practice. And then we do Kapalabhati and this is going to release any tension in the abdominal area so our breath can flow more freely through the practice. And then we will go on to Ujjayi combined with Maha Yoga Pranayama just to open up the fullest capacity of our breathing and again free any tension in the chest area so we can flow with Ujjayi throughout the rest of the practice. So we start with three rounds of the cleansing breath. So preparing ourselves, place our hands on the knees and we're gonna inhale fully through the nose. Good. And then we move straight on into Kapalabhati. Good. So let's do Kapalabhati three times now. So at the end of each round, you're going to end on an exhalation by contracting the abdominal muscles and then inhaling long and deep, holding the breath and then exhaling through the nose. Okay, let's practice together. Ah. <sighs> 
and that'll do. So we're going to do one more round and this time, just for a variation, at the end of the Kapalabhati, when we exhale fully and then we take a long deep breath in, instead of exhaling through the nostrils, I'm going to invite us to exhale through the mouth. So this is going to be more detoxifying and maybe it feels a little bit more relaxing for some people. So if this is your preference to exhale through the mouth at the end of the round, you can also do that. So let's go again, Kapalabhati, and this time at the end of the round, we're exhaling through the mouth. And that will do. So the final technique is two techniques together. We're going to combine Ujjayi and Maha Yoga Pranayama and we're just going to breathe long, fully and deeply with Maha Yoga Pranayama and Ujjayi. Now when you first do the first few breaths you're gradually building up to your fullest capacity to breathe. So you know each breath make each inhalation a little bit longer and deeper as you go into the practice. So preparing yourself mentally and physically, sitting upright, you can place your hands in chin mudra or just turn the palms down and activating ujjayi, tucking the chin slightly down and in. You have the sound of ujjayi and then you're gradually slowly deepening the breath until you're at your fullest capacity. Keeping the face relaxed. Long, deep, full, smooth breathing with Ujjayi. And continue with the practice, but now just let go of Maha Yoga Pranayama. So allow the breath to find its natural rhythm, no longer pushing or pulling on the breath, and maintain Ujjayi.
As you exhale, bring your hands to the level of the heart center. Keeping your hands together on your next inhalation, stretch your arms upwards so the fingertips are reaching up towards the sky. Inhaling. And then as you exhale, separate the hands and allow the hands to float down to the floor. As you exhale. <laughs> There you go. So then you would continue on with your practice, maintaining ujjayi if you're doing a dynamic practice or just letting ujjayi go if you're working um, with a half a yoga practice. Namaste.